Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, we're going to take an overview look at Garmin's free to use Basecamp software to see what it can do for you on a Mac computer. The software is also available for a Windows computer. On this video, it's not a training video, it's just to give you an overview of what you can use the software for. And at the end of the video, I'll show you lots of options where you can get training and help and support from GPS training on the various packages that we offer and some that are included when you purchase a GPS device from ourselves. So the first thing we do is we download the software. I've just searched in Safari or Google Chrome for Garmin Basecamp software download and it's taken me to Garmin's software Basecamp website that I'm on now. It's actually garmin.com, you can see at the top of the screen, um, forward slash en dash gb forward slash software forward slash Basecamp. If I just scroll down to the bottom here where it says Basecamp software, I can see it gives you features, what the software can do, and it's got the download for Windows or download for Mac tabs, tells you what operating system you need. When you actually click on the download tab, it takes you to another screen where there is an option if you've got an older operating system, you can download an older version of the software. I've already got the software installed on this machine, so I'm just going to open it up. So there's sort of three main things that we use the software for. You do need your Garmin GPS device to be connected to your computer. So you plug it in using the USB cable that it was supplied with. And ideally this software, or should I say really this software, is to be used with a Garmin device that has maps loaded, i.e. the OS maps, which I'm showing on the screen now, or the Topo Active Europe maps. If you've got a device that doesn't have mapping on it, you're not really going to be able to use the software because you don't see a map on the software until you plug your GPS device in. One nice feature though, because the device, um, sorry, the software reads the mapping from your device when it's connected, you don't actually need to be on the internet once you've downloaded the software. So the three things we use it for is viewing the maps that are on your unit and planning routes. You can then edit the routes, change them, look at information about the distances and elevation. You can also import routes that you've downloaded from websites in a format called GPX, and you can look at those routes on the software, all to send to your GPS device to then use to navigate with. You can also print off, if you've got a printer, a screenshot of your map on the screen. We also use the software for looking at what's on your GPS device or anything you've saved on your device. You can then copy out of your device to look at where you've walked, cycled, etc. And then also delete things out your device that you no longer want. And we can also use the software to check for software updates. If you also download, there's a program called Web Updater that you also need to download for the Mac. You just search Garmin Web Updater. And as long as you install that as well, you can check for software updates. But really, it's the planning of routes and importing of routes from other websites and actually managing what's on your GPS device. Because in the software, we create folders that keep all our walks and cycle ride, rides organized and tidy. So I've got my GPS device connected at the moment. So on the top left of the screen, I can see my Garmin devices, GPS Map 86i. And I've got a menu at the top that says Maps. And I've got an Ordnance Survey 1 to 50 maps selected. What I can do is search for place names and get the map to centre on a place name. On all our training videos, we show you how you can also search for things like um, grid references, Ordnance Survey grid references, and um, to get your map to zoom in on a grid reference where you want to start a walk from. So the idea is the soft with the software is you get your map where you want it. And then if you're going to plan a route, you normally create folders that you're going to put your routes into. And we have route creation tools. And then simply on the screen, I can actually click where I want to walk, where I can see the footpaths. It might be you have a guidebook next to you that's helping you decide where you want to go. And you're actually just copying that onto the actual map that you've got in front of you. So I'm just clicking a really short route on here just to give you an idea of planning a route. When you make mistakes, you can edit the route at the end. There's loads of videos we've got on our online training course that I'll cover at the end where we show you how to edit routes, change what you've done, you know, add, add to the route if you haven't quite finished it and stuff like that. So I've just created a very simple route here on the screen. And this is the route that I'll see overlaid on my GPS device. And then I can bring up a properties box about that route, which has information. I'll just open it up now. 
there we go and I'm just going to move this into the middle of the screen so I've got this properties box which if I go into the information tab gives me the distance 3.1 miles and it gives me elevation and maximum elevation so I can then send that route to my GPS device it's also got an option here to print as well but there's lots of editing tools if you make a mistake we cover all those in our training videos and also how you send these routes to your gps device so what i can also do if i want to import a route that i've downloaded from a website i've already got one for for an area in gloucestershire that i've actually downloaded so i'm just going to import this download that i've downloaded to the desktop of my computer and we'll import that in it just shows you that you can import routes in from other websites and I'll just zoom in on this one so this is down in Gloucestershire it's called Daffodil Way so I can see it on the screen here the pink line I can edit it and move points around if it's not quite right nice thing is I can look at the information and see that it's 8.6 miles so I've got the distance whoever's planned this mustn't have planned it on a map that had elevation data hence I'm not seeing any elevation data that will be recorded when I record the route on my GPS sorry record the track recording on my GPS device so like you see, it's just a simple bit of software for planning routes and viewing the maps on your GPS device and printing them if need be so the next thing I'm going to look at I'm going to go onto my GPS devices internal storage in the bottom left of the screen I'm basically looking at everything that's on my GPS device this is where points I've marked it could be tracks that I've recorded routes that I've sent to my unit so I could find a track recording that I've done I'm just going to double click on one of my track recordings and open it up and I'll just change the color so it's a bit easier to see we'll put it as a nice bright green color and this one looks like it potentially was a car journey when I or, or on a, um, a cycle just because it's got um, average speed 28 mile an hour so it certainly wasn't a run or a walk that I've done but it's got loads of stats about every point that I recorded what speed I was doing the distance between each point and the grid reference I can actually open up an elevation plot and look at a graph of the recording that's in my GPS device I'll just close these boxes down and basically on the screen if I just zoom in on the map here this is green line on the screen this is the actual track recording of my GPS device and we're just zooming in so we get the Ordnance Survey map loaded and I've got the Ordnance Survey map loaded so you can basically look at where you've walked and look at any tracks that you've recorded on your unit um, and then you can decide whether you're going to copy those tracks into a folder in the, in the software to keep and then delete out of your unit so if I go onto my unit and I want to delete something so as I'm scrolling down I'm just going to look at a waypoint that I've marked as a flag symbol it might be one that I want to delete because I don't need anymore so I'm just going to double click on this one here so that's opened up now on the map there we go so these little flag symbols are ones I've obviously marked in my GPS unit if I decide I don't want them anymore where I've got them in the bottom left hand window I can simply delete them so it's basically you can manage what's on your GPS device by deleting stuff that you no longer need in it or all of our videos show you how you can copy stuff out of the GPS into the folders at the top so it's just giving you an idea of what the software can actually do for you and um, so I hope you found that useful and what I'm going to do now is just show you all of the training options that we have available that should get you to grips with this software show you lots of other things you can do when you're planning routes you can uh, if you want to reverse a route because you want to do it in a different direction you can reverse a route you can join tracks and routes together we show you how you can create cycle routes that snap to roads if you've got the map card that has um, ordnance survey footpaths in the national parks we show you how you can do a route that snaps to the footpaths so there's lots of extra videos in the online resource which is what i'm going to show you first so i'm just going to open up a browser that's got the home page of our website already open so where we're a, lot, a bit different from other retailers who sell a gps device if you go to our gps store and purchase a handheld gps unit from us you get included for free our gold support package now what you get with that as well as the email support and telephone support where we'll help you over the phone or email you back with answers and questions to any problems you're having for one year you get that support you also get access to our online training resource from the homepage of our website there's a link for the online training resource now if you haven't bought a GPS unit from us if you go onto the GPS store and GPS support packages we have options here 
where you can purchase just the online training resource for 12 months for £50. That doesn't include email or telephone support. We have the bronze support. That one actually includes email support and the online course. And we have the silver packages and gold packages, which also include telephone support as well as the email support and the online course so click onto those and have a look at them and they're great support packages if you haven't bought a unit from us but if you've bought a unit from us you automatically get this for a year and if i now show you the online training resource when you're logged in if you are paid for this or you've bought a unit office and got access to it on the courses you'll see there's not just courses on the base camp software there's courses on all the different garmin units courses on the bird's eye mapping the satellite mapping garmin express the garmin explore app loads of stuff on there if i go to the base camp and look at base camp for sorry just go back onto courses garmin base camp and base camp for mac users and click on there you'll see when it logs in there's approximately 24 different videos as well as loads of written tutorials so as you scroll down when you click on any of these units they have the videos and um, we've got setting up units of measure connecting for the first time viewing your maps creating off-road routes creating routes that snap to footpaths etc there's just loads of videos there importing gpx tracks from websites backing up bird's eye maps, reversing direction of routes. 24 videos there to really get you going with the software. So just remember that is included if you purchase a unit from GPS Training where we're different from any other retailer, you're getting this online course free for a year as well as email and telephone support. The other things we offer, if I go back to our homepage of our website, if you want to come on a physical course, we've got locations around the country where we do our courses. And I'm just going to open that up just once this goes back on. Just waiting for the internet. There we go. GPS training courses is the heading on our gpstraining.co.uk website. Classroom courses, very practical as well. They're not just in the classroom. It's basically a two-day training course. You can see the locations on the screen now. We've got South Downs, Scottish Borders, Peak District, Northumberland, Northamptonshire, New Forest, Lake District, and Gloucestershire. On the two-day course, day one, lots of practical stuff with your GPS out and about. Uh, learning how to use the GPS device in and out of the classroom. You're outside a lot. On day two of the course, we spend all morning going through the base camp software, really getting you to grips with it. And then you plan a route that we all go and walk in the afternoon on the GPS device. So that's the physical training courses that we do. But something new that we've added under the GPS training courses, just recently added, if you want to do something from the comfort of, comfort of your home, obviously it's the online resource that I've covered, but we also have an online course option where using Zoom, we can do one-to-one -one route planning software for £80 you get two hours so we do that monday to friday during the day you can book a time slot two hours with us we can then dial into your computer and with us both working together talking to each other you showing us what you need to do and us helping you by moving the cursor and showing you different things on the software getting you to do things and then showing you how to do things we'll give you two hours to get you going with the software for 80 pounds that's an online training using zoom so a great way if you're not wanting to leave your home but the online don't forget the online resource again a great resource if you want to be able to do things 24 7 on your own using those videos for that 50 pound for the year or the extra packages that give you the email and telephone support and again included for free for a year when you purchase a gps device from us so i hope you found this useful on just an overview on what garmin's base camp software can do for you and also all the training options you've got from gps training to get you going with the software we hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.